Raw! Welcome to Troy Story. Hello, hello, hello. I'm just going to leave this a few minutes now, just ticking around, letting the clock tick by. Is anybody out there? Alright, we're going to leave it at that. Right, so, welcome to Troy Story. I am, of course, coming at you live from Facebook. We are on our rampage tonight. We are live streaming all over the shop. Check your cupboards, check your drawers, check underneath your bed, because I'll be streaming under there like a streaming nightmare. Uh, I am, of course, Troy of the Troy Story. Tonight, on this wondrous Halloween night, we're going to be doing a paranormal episode. Hello to that viewer who's just tuned in, whoever you may be. Don't be shy feel free to comment um so the halloween episode uh we already did that some of you might remember that was before so i was a bit premature with my halloween so now i'm moving on to paranormal spooky spooky stuff um okay so if you don't like it you can lump it but please don't leave because troy story needs you we need the viewers um now we're starting off in los angeles where a 32 year old white woman has given birth to a black baby and she claimed this was because she was impregnated by the ghost of pop legend Michael Jackson. Now, I understand, you know, being a white lady with a white husband, giving birth to a black baby, that, that's never going to be an all, you know, an easy situation. You can't just laugh that off, you know, that is an elephant. That's a big, fat, throbbing elephant in the room. But you could, you could think of a better excuse, really, couldn't you? You know rather than being sexually assaulted by the ghost of a pop superstar. Now, the woman named Kira, she claims she was watching the two-hour Michael Jackson 30-year anniversary special on DVD. If anybody owns that DVD, watch out, because Michael Jackson, ghost of Michael Jackson, is going to have sex with you. Um, now, <laughs> it was at this point that everything went horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, all of a sudden, she, she said, I was awakened by a hand caressing my face, a decrepit, old, pale, ghost of Michael Jackson hand. <laughs> but I was home alone, and my husband was at work. A likely story, you might say. Uh, now, the next thing you know, she goes on to add, I'm having this erotic encounter with Michael Jackson. But it wasn't the white Michael Jackson. Oh, no. He was black and dressed like straight out of the Thriller video. I told him to stop, but he wouldn't listen. Scandalous. How rude of the ghost of Michael Jackson. He wouldn't even listen to your plea for him to stop. Now, interestingly, Kira's husband, Ken, has decided to stick by her, believing that he has no reason not to trust her. Well done, Ken. That's very honourable of you. Uh, the couple have even gone on to take legal action against the Jackson family. This is just... Now, Kira, she's obviously very committed to her story. Um, she is willing to stop at nothing to win the trust of her family. And for that reason, I am actually inclined to believe that she was genuinely sexually assaulted by the ghost of Michael Jackson. Stranger things have happened. Um, now, sticking with this bizarre paranormal sex theme, da -da 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 -da, uh, we're going over to Sweden, where the Swedish Association for Sexuality Education has called for NASA to s send condoms into space to teach aliens how to have safe sex with human beings. A spokesman said, access to contraceptives is a universal right, and with the Swedish space condom, we aim to go truly universal in order to fulfil this right. It's a logical viewpoint, you might argue. Now, I can't say, having said that, I've ever considered having sex outside of my species, let alone the planet Earth, but, you know, I'm not overly convinced that you know, if we did make contact with an alien civilization from a distant galaxy, that having sex would really be at the top of my priority list. It, it just wouldn't, you know, I'm, I'm being honest. Uh, in fact, Sweden needs to calm down, man. You can't just discover new stuff and then shag it into oblivion instantaneously. There's, there's rules, you know, you've got to ask questions and so on and so forth. It's ethically wrong, you might add. Uh, but maybe I'm just a square. I don't know. Perhaps I'm... Uh I'm just, I'm just not edgy enough to get funky with an extraterrestrial. That's a very hipster thing to do, have sex with an alien, and maybe I'm just not hipster enough. Hello to everybody out there. Um, this was, of course, the Troy Story Paranormal Sex episode. It turned into that towards the end. Everything went a bit cray-cray. Uh, but feel free to tune in if you haven't already. Watch it back. It'll be there at the end. Have a very good night, all. Ta-ta!